Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of binomial theorem. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let m and n be the coefficients of 7th and 13th terms respectively in the expansion of 1 over 3 x raised to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2 x raised to 2 over 3 raised to 18. The question is asking us to figure out the value of n over m to the power 1 over 3 is equal to. So we need to figure out the value of this expression and if I talk about the questions answer choices, the options given to us are 1 over 9, 1 over 4, 4 over 9, and the last answer choice given to us is 9 over 4. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question further and find the correct answer. Before starting off with this solution for the question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you right but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make these solutions as easy as possible let's see the solution for this question now so i have been told that m and n are the coefficients of 17th and 13th terms respectively so when i have this first of all i'll use the idea of formula for finding the nth term in binomial expression that tells me that if you want to find the nth terms value in the expression it's actually given by r plus one -th term is equals to ncr x raised to n minus r y raised to r this is when you have to find the value of the expression x plus y raised to n so whatever number of term you need you can find it using this idea. So I need in this case 7th and 13th term, right? And M and N are coefficients of that 17th and 13th term. So if I do that solving, I get 7th term means R plus 1 is 7. So if I compare, I get R plus 1 is 7 and then that gives me R is actually 6. So that gives me here NC 6 x raised to n minus 6, y raised to 6. But if you see here in the expression, if I compare this with my actual expression x plus y raised to n, I get from here x is 1 third, x raised to 1 over 3, and y in this case is 1 over 2, x raised to 2 thirds. And n in this case is 18. So that's the idea. So if I solve this further, I get this n is 18 x is 1 over 3 x raised to 1 over 3 raised to n minus 6 so 18 minus 6 and y is 1 over 2 x raised to 2 over 3 raised to 6 so if i get this this is my seventh term now the question also tells me that you also find 13th term and n is the coefficient of that so if i want to find 13th term as well let's see what i get so here if i further let's solve it so 18 say 6 1 over 3 x raised to 1 over 3 raised to 12 and this gives you 1 over 2 raised to 2 into x raised to 2 over 3 raised to 6. So you get this 7th term. Now if I want to find the 13th term as well, instead of 7 I will put 13 here. So I can again compare r plus 1 is 13. So r in this case becomes 12. So once I get r as 12, if I write it here again, n is so it's basically nc12 x raised to n minus 12 into y raised to 12. So I have that. Now if I just put the values, n in this case is 18. So 18 c12, x is 1 over 3, x raised to 1 over 3, raised to 18 minus 12, which is 6. And here I get 1 over 2, x raised to 2 over 3, which is raised to 12. So you get this 13th term. Now the question tells me m and n are coefficients of this 7th and 13th term. So when it's told to me m and n are coefficients of 7th and 13th term, let's find this. So m is coefficient of 7th term. 
So if I find m from this expression, coefficients means basically I should not have any variables with me. So the one without variables, I get 18 C6. 1 over 3 raised to 12. X is a variable, so we do not include that. Here I get 1 over 2 raised to 6. And we again ignore this X raised to 2 over 3 because we just want the coefficient. So this is the coefficient M. For N, if I figure out the coefficient is 18 C12. 1 over 3 raised to 6 and 1 over 2 raised to 12. So we have N and M both with us. Now if I just divide both of them as per the question that says N over M raised to 1 third. So cube root of N over M. N in this case is 18 C 12. 1 over 3 raised to 6. 1 over 2 raised to 12. And M, if I see, I get 18 C 6. 1 over 3 raised to 12 and 1 over 2 raised to 6. So, right? Yeah. So, this is the idea that I have. And then I have to just basically raise it to 1 over 3. So, let's try to cancel if we can do some of them. So, I have 6 terms of 1 over 3. Here I have 12. So, I can cancel all the 6 and here 6 would be left. Again, 1 over 2, I have 6 terms. Here I have 12. So, I'll cancel all of this 6 and here 6 are. 18C12 and 18C6, if I see here, I know NCR is equal to NCN minus R. So if I see 18C12, I can also write that as 18C18 18 minus 12. And that's basically 18C6. So 18C6 and 18C12 holds same value. When they two hold the same value, I can cancel directly that also. So this also gets cancelled. So what you're left with, let's just 1 over 2 raised to 6. 1 over 3 raised to 6, the whole thing, it's raised to 1 over 3. So what I get here is 1 over 2 raised to 6 divided by 3, 1 over 3 raised to 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 in the power gives me the power as 2. That gives me 1 over 2 squared and 1 over 3 squared. So 1 over 4 and 1 over 9. So 9 goes up, becomes 9 over 4. So we get the answer to this question and that answer matches with 9 over 4, that is option D. So D becomes the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So we just use the idea of R plus 1th term, that's in CR, X raised to N minus R into Y raised to R for the expansion of this binomial expansion, X plus Y raised to N. Then we just compared and found M and N, which are coefficients of 7th and 13th term. Once I got M and N, I just took the ratio of them and raised it to 1 over 3. That basically gave me the answer for the question as 9 over 4. So 9 over 4 is the answer and that matches with option D. So D becomes the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you. <music>